<laughs> okay, hello. My name is Amy Lou. And thank you for coming on and welcome to my podcast. It's my great. realm of entertainment. I love it. It's brilliant. Great. Um so yeah, do you wanna firstly introduce yeah. what you do? Okay. Uh so my name is Amy Lou. I'm a singer songwriter, Faith Fife. Uh, do a lot of like music within like um, glamorous indie rock. I'm also kind of a gay icon. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal, guys. <laughs> big deal. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, but I, uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a gay icon. Um, and you're killing it. Yeah, I'm killing you're, it. You're doing well. I'm, I'm doing bits, man. I'm yeah. Doing Boom. Bitsa. You know what's up. <laughs> um, and you've just dropped a new single. I mean, yeah. it's been a few days now. Yeah, but it's been like a week. Yeah. Huh? How's the reception? Yeah, it's been really, really good. Uh, Tonic, well, the single's called Tonic Wine. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the new singles went down really well. It was one of those singles that it's, it's kind of a little bit different. It's not as, like, indie and, like, kind of catchy. And, like, it's more like... It's kind of like a protest song. Like, mm. I wrote it, like, just to, like, be kind of a big fuck you to, like, a lot of people. Um, is that the kind of music you want to be making? Like, yeah, is that, like, more like, a raw version of yeah, you? Yeah, 100%. Like, when I was kind of, like, starting Amy Lou, I was kind of writing, like, stuff that I knew was catchy and, like, po- folk would, like, like. So now that I've kind of got that audience, a lot of the stuff that I'm writing now is a, a lot more kind of self-aware. Right. Yeah, so, like, so Tonic is, like, super self-aware and it's basically just been, like, a massive fuck you to to people just that you reference like when you were starting out so mm-hmm. when you were starting out did you know the kind of direction you wanted to go in like well, do you know what you were doing yeah i mean amy lou's been about like amy lou because for me amy lou's a character um, right. i've been doing kind of amy lou's stuff since i was like 14 so right at the start it was like kind of like acoustic folk what do you mean by a character so, sort like, of like an ex- like escapism yeah, kind yeah, of thing 100 percent, 100 percent. like i think amy and amy lou are like two very like different people right i think i see amy lou as because of like the kind of stuff that i'm writing now I use Amy Lou as like a body of empowerment. Right, right. To like kind of just, oh, that's some nice acoustic guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I completely use Amy Lou as like a, a body of empowerment for like kids like me growing up. Do you right. Know I mean? So like a role model kind of yeah, thing, someone to look up to. 100%, 100%. And I do you think, think that's because you didn't have something like that when you yeah, were growing up? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, I grew up. When I was growing up, I was like a chubby lesbian, you know. <laughs> and there's not many chubby lesbians day in bits. And then that, that was one of the big things that I wanted to do with Amy Lou was ha- be like a strong lesbian woman, kicking ass, yeah, guitar, doing your thing, doing winning, thing, win- winning, absolutely, on top of the world, absolutely. And I think one of the biggest moments where I kind of looked at that and went, "Holy shit!" So Tonic Wine got played on like BBC Scotland, like what? prime time I didn't know BBC that. Scotland, and there's a line in Tonic Wine that literally says, "Here's to the gay kids," and hearing like "Here's to the gay kids" on Ooh. national radio, Ooh. it's one of those moments that I was like, "Oh my god!" That's, that's legit that's the most rock and roll thing yeah, ever, isn't 100%. it? Yeah, It was just like I was just sitting there and I was like holy shit you've like, done it that, I've done it what's like, next retirement probably. <laughs> that's it I'm done now <laughs> all the yeah. boxes have been ticked I'm going home absolutely yeah no but really what is next what's the um, teasers give us yeah, something what's the tea spell the tea. <laughs> um, so next um, what is next so I'm doing I'm releasing like an alternative EP right of, like all of my like Oh my god, you're playing Fitzy. Cheeky. Nah. Starts uh, off by saying they're a gay icon, <laughs> then starts playing Fitzy. What's going on, Amy Lou? Uh. Like, um, yeah, so I'm bringing out an alternative EP. So it's like basically all the singles that I've brought up until now in like an alternative version. So my debut single, Shania, I've recorded with a full live orchestra. What? Yeah. We recorded it in like Edinburgh Uni. I'm not like allowed to say it was at Edinburgh Uni. Oh. But it was recorded at Edinburgh Nobody Uni. listened to that bit. Yeah, like... <laughs> Okay. How? What was the inspiration behind that? You just um, wanted to do something different, yeah, spice it up. Yeah, uh, they're basically originally when we were thinking about the alternative EP, I wanted to do like an acid rave version of Shania, like pure like intense wave, right? Music. Okay. And I'd like went to this like mix and mingle kind of music night, and I was like looking for someone that would do it. And this guy kind of turned around and he was like, "Screw your rave music, let's put a full live orchestra yeah. around it," and which we did, and it sounds. Oh my god, that sounds, sounds so awesome! Phenomenal. Do you know what I mean? When do you think that's going to start coming out? When you start promoting that? Uh, soon. Um, kind of like April, May time. Right. Everything's kind of sitting there. So like we've done like acoustic, like stripped back versions of some of the other tracks. Right. 
yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. It's yeah, it's that's exciting different. stuff. It's something yeah. different that like not many people are doing. That sounds amazing. Um, when you're starting to write a song, mm-hmm. what's the sort of creative process you have? Yeah, so I, I write a lot of poetry and spoken words. Um, so especially in like the social climate we're in at the moment, like things really piss me off. If things piss me off, I like write a lot of poetry, and sometimes I'll look at like poems that I'm writing and I'm going, ooh. Sometimes I'll look at that and I'll go, that is class. Let's put that in a song. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I would say I'm more of a writer than right. a musician. So you, you sort of write it out, write it out, write it out, and then you just. So I cherry pick the good bits, and yeah, then, absolutely, absolutely, or the bits that can translate into music. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Right. Most of it can. It's yeah. Words at the end of the day. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, are you proud of the body of work you've created? Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. I wouldn't change any of it. You know, it's. I think every single that I released is like completely in a world of its own. You know, it's. And I, I see it as a collection of works. I think with Amy Lou, I, I view myself more, it's going to sound wanky as fuck. <laughs> I see myself more as an artist and a musician. I see Amy Lou as like, uh, like right. a creative package. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, sorry, like creative entity rather than just someone that does like audio. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I see, like I say, like I see Amy Lou as like a body of empowerment. Yeah. So yeah. like, I see Emilio as like a full artist package. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Just that sort of entity that can dive into anything that's not restricted by anything. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Um, do you think there's enough uh, LGBTQ plus uh, artists in Scotland right now in the sort of like music scene? Mm, yeah, yes and no. There's a lot of musicians within the LGBT community in Scotland. The thing that sometimes upsets me is there's a lot of musicians and artists that aren't, how do I say this in the nicest way, that maybe aren't as proud as they could be. Right. I mean, maybe like they just aren't good. <laughs> they just aren't very good. I think there's a lot of artists who, I'm, I don't know, you know, I don't know, maybe it's it's like a self kind of thing. Because, see, at the start of Amy Lou, I, I didn't want to, like, bring the fact that I was a gay woman. Really? To, like, do an Amy Lou. But it just kind of came with the songs that I was writing. Right, you couldn't be your raw self. Yeah. And then restrict it. part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get that, yeah. There's, there's no point in being disingenuous. Yeah. And I think that's the whole thing. Coming back to, like, the Amy Lou being an artist package, is if I were to restrict that, mm. then that's when the character is, is not authentic. So would you sort of say that more art should be more open, more raw? I mean, whatever fits you. Right. It's going to fit. Something that fits me isn't going to fit someone else. Yeah, that's true. A pair yeah. of shoes, man. <laughs> man. Music as a pair of shoes. Yeah, 100%. That's 100%. the quote 100. you should take away from this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Where can people listen to your music? Everywhere. Spotify. Everywhere. SoundCloud. iTunes. And everything's just Amy Lou. Yeah, Amy yeah. Space Lou. And also check out your social medias, which mm-hmm. are... Not underscore you underscore Amy underscore Lou. There you are. On all of them. Um, do you have any awesome stories you want to close with? Um, can we tell the story of this gig that's happening right now? Yes, do it. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> We're also this is being shot during a pandemic or an epidemic. Yeah, uh, it's one an of epidemic, the two. An yeah. epidemic. Probably when this is out, everybody's just purely dead. Se- a de- oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Maybe not dead. Maybe not dead. I feel like a pure like end of days vibe at the moment, like. It's pure the end of the days, and we're doing a podcast about. I'm feeling like this is way worse than what the movies were predicting. I thought like in the movies it was all dramatic and stuff. People are just chilling. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I might go for the KFC later. (laughs) We went for KFC earlier. Look at that. You going for KFC? It's not even this. No, he's deaf. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I hope that I hope that joke's gonna go down well. I'm gonna get called. Call it culture's gonna kill me for that one. Cancelled. Cancelled. You are cancelled. Um, yeah, so right now, the coronavirus is rife. Um, this gig was meant to be being put on in an office near Haymarket, but um, the company decided that it was too much of a risk, and um, they pulled it from the office because of the coronavirus. you think an office would be safer than a pub, but I don't know. Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Be the boss. So um, there was also no PA for this gig until, like, four hours like ago Amy Lou does it yeah like we've planned this things game. happen things happen and honestly I've not really decided 
whether this gig is going to be amazing or shit. It's going to be amazing. But I think it's going to go down in history as the time that Amy Lou said fuck you to the coronavirus and Boom. didn't cancel again. There you are. Just found another venue. Damn bitch. The only other band I've seen do that right now is The Killers. So if you're on the same level as The Killers, Listen, there you go. Me and The Killers like this man. glamorous indie rock and roll glamorous yeah they literally have a song that yeah is that. <laughs> boom references if you Quick. know you know man um, but yeah thanks for coming on um, is there anything you want to close with who the fuck is Amy Lou? boom <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>